Hi students, this is Alex here. In this problem, they have given if f of z is u plus iv, which is an analytic function of z, and u minus v equal to e power x into cos y minus sin y. And we have to find f of z in terms of z. Now let's take the given u minus v and we are going to partially differentiate with respect to x. So this becomes ux minus vx. Here we have to make product rule and we are going to do partial derivative with respect to x. So y is constant. So the second term is fully constant. So we differentiate the first term e power x and second term is a constant which stays as it is. So no need to make a product rule here. Even if I make a product rule, the other term will become zero because this entire term is a constant. So let's keep this as the first equation. In the same way, we are going to partially differentiate this with respect to y. So u y minus v y equal to e power x is constant now which is kept as it is and this derivative is minus sin y and this is minus cos y. This is our second expression. Now using CR equations we know ux equal to vy and uy equal to minus vx. Let's substitute this uy as minus vx here and vy as ux here. So the first equation stays as it is that is ux minus vx equal to let's multiply this inside so e power x into cos y minus e power x into sin y. Similarly this becomes minus vx and this becomes minus ux and that is equal to again let's expand this so e power x into minus sin y minus e power x into cos y now we are going to subtract this so we will change the sign of all the second terms this is already minus so we are going to make plus and this is minus we are going to make plus so we can cancel plus vx and minus vx and these two ux terms gets added because both are positive so 2 ux equal to and here now this is plus we change the sign and this is minus so these two terms gets cancelled and these two gets added that becomes 2 e power x cos y and hence ux becomes e power x cos y now using ux let's take the first equation first equation is already here so in the first equation i'm going to substitute that is ux is e power x cos y minus vx equal to e power x cos y minus e power x sin y. So e power x cos y we can cancel on both the sides then by changing the sign we get vx which is e power x sin y because we change the sign so it is positive. So we got finally ux and vx. Now we are going to write f of z. f of z is u plus i v and f dash of z will become ux plus i vx. And using Milne Thompson method we can write f of z as integral ux of z comma 0 dz 
plus i integral v x of z comma zero d z. Now from here we can find u x of z comma zero. It means every x is changed as z and y is changed as zero. So we get only e power z. And v x of x comma z comma zero becomes e power z into zero. Sin zero is zero. So totally this is zero. So we left with only e power z. So this is integral e power z d z plus i integral zero d z. And we also have plus c. Anyway, the second term is zero. So f of z becomes integration of e power z is e power z plus c. Thus we got the analytic function f of z in terms of z.